In this video, we'll be looking for cell reference, different types of cell reference, like say relative reference, absolute reference, and some more advanced mixed reference. Let's see that. I am on the sheet, let's say relative reference. I have some data, let's say month, total income, total expense, and the net income. I can get a net income, which I subtract expenses from the total revenue. How do I do that? It's a very simple formula equal to, I'll subtract cell number B3 minus cell number C3, and I'll press enter. Now, when I press enter, if I drag down all the cells, the formula will be copied like this. And if I just double click on any cell, what is happening is it has taken the relative reference what it was done previously. It has subtracted the B3 uh, cell number from B3 minus C3. Similarly, they have done as B8 minus E8. If you see here also B7 minus C7, B6 minus C6. So as you go in the horizontal or vertical manner, the formula gets copied accordingly. So that is what you call relative reference. But now let's see, I'll give you a shortcut method how to go for it. Suppose I have selected this entire column. Imagine you have 1000 cells and if you type a formula in just one cell, you don't have to drag again. So first step is you have to select all the cells type equal to cell number B3 minus cell number C3 and you you don't have to press enter you have you have to press control enter so once you press control enter you see the formula is copied in all the columns in in short if i say in selected cells so i've selected like say 5 to 10 cells in all the 10 cells the formula is copied so control enter you can use the function or a shortcut key next i have that is absolute reference in this absolute reference if i use the formula i have some data if you see the name the grades and the percentage John has 85, Rita has 65, Neeta has 75. Now, if I want to calculate percentage out of 100, if you see 85, 65, so I'll type here equal to cell number B4 divided by cell number uh, B3 and I press enter. Now, if I want to see the formula, I have to press control tilt from my keyboard. Tilt, if you see on the keyboard, that is 1, 2, 3 on the top, it is written. On the left hand side of the one, you have this tilt uh, key cursor. So, you have to press control tilt to see the formulas. If you don't understand this shortcut key, what you can do is, I can give you a long cut key, how to show and hide formulas. You can go to this formulas tab, and if you see on the right hand side, there's a show formulas. Now, if you keep your cursor on this place, you can see the shortcut is given as control tilt. That's a tilt option given here. If I click on this, hide formulas. If I click on this, show formulas. Now, what I'll do is, I'll just drag down this cell and see whether the answers are getting copied or not. Yes, and I'll say as show form, hide formulas. Now, if you see, it's saying as 85% absolutely correct, 76, it's something sounding not correct, 115, 113, 112. If I have 95 scores, so I should have 95%, but it's, it's showing something wrong answer. What is the problem here? Let's see, let's find out. If I double click, what is happening is it is dividing B8 by B7. That means it is taking the relative reference, but I do not want B8. I want cell number B3 to be fixed. What I can do is I can make cell number B3 as fixed. How do I make it? I'll just keep my cursor here. When the cursor is blinking at this place and the red corner B3, press F4 from a keyboard. So once you press F4, that cell has been locked and you can press, press enter key. And now what you can do is you can just drag down the entire cells and see if there's a 95, I should get 95%. If it is 85, 85%. Let's see what is the function copied or the formula copied. I'll go to the formulas. I'll click on this show formulas. This is the easiest way by we can, we can see the formulas in entire sheet. You see here, that is B3, it's giving us B3, here it is B5 by B3, B8 by B3 and so on. So this cell I have make, made as fixed. So this $B, $3 is known as absolute reference. I've written here for your reference, absolute reference. We have seen the relative reference, absolute, absolute reference. Let's see the next one we, which we have, that is what you call mixed reference. A small table where I'm showing you multiplication, row headers 10 to 50 and the column headers are 1 to 5. What I want is I want to multiply row with the columns and get the answer. For example, I want to multiply 40 with the number 3, I should get as 120. Similarly, 50 with 5, I should get 250. How do I go for it? I'll just keep my cursor in the cell number. I have cell number C6 and I'll type a formula equal to cell number B6 multiplied by cell number, let's say C5 and press enter. So I've got the answer 10, which is correct. And if I drag down, it's showing something incorrect answer. Let's see what is the problem here. I'll go to this formula and I'll go to this show formulas. Now, if you see what it is doing exactly is, it is multiplying this cell number B6 with B5, correct? B7 with C6. 
so it is going down so if you see it's a relative reference now what do i want is i want this row to be fixed okay and this column to be fixed similarly so what i'll do is i'll just go at this place and i'll keep my cursor on this c5 and press f4 from my keyboard and press enter now if i drag down if i drag down the cell so it says the answer is coming absolutely correct so if you see this cells are fixed right if i press control tilt from my keyboard let's see the answer yeah so the answers are correct here but now the last one here last one i didn't drag it so it's not showing the correct answer i have dragged it so these answers are correct now what if i'll do is if i drag down on the right hand side right let's see what is the answer if you see the answer is not absolutely correct it should show as 50 into 5 which is 250 let's find out what is the problem i'll press control tilt from my keyboard and if you see if i keep my cursor here what it is doing is it is multiplying relatively the next cell that is c7 with this c5 dollar if i keep my cursor you just focus on the blue line this is the blue line and this one has the red line what exactly has to be done now so what i have to if you observe carefully in this column i want to multiply b6 b7 b8 b9 b10 right so if you observe the word the uh, the thing is b is common here so what i'll do is i'll lock the b column right so i'll first delete this and uh, equal to this cell number and i'll lock this b column how do i lock it this way so dollar b6 why dollar b6 if you observe b6 b7 b8 b9 so rows are changing 6 7 8 9 b is common and here if i do the second option multiplied by this cell number and if you see i want to multiply c5 d5 e5 f5 g5 so 5 is common in entire all the rows but if you see the row what do you call the columns are changing so what i'll do is i'll lock the record so how do i lock record press f4 f4 from a keyboard twice and it's c c dollar 5 wherever i put a dollar uh, if i put a dollar before 5 that means the row is recorded that is locked now c is open c6 d uh, c5 d5 e5 that is entirely open that's all so that is the formula by which you can get the answer and i'll press enter so i'll just drag down on the right hand side and i'll drag down at the bottom right now i'm able to see all the formulas let's see if i hide the formulas by clicking on this show formulas now if you see 50 into 5 which is 250 if i double click you see the answer is correct the red color is shown here that's this cell is selected similarly the blue color is selected now similarly if i click on this cell if you see the red one and the blue one which is absolutely selected so a uh, mixed reference is a bit difficult but it's very easy to understand right and you can see here relative absolute mixed reference so that's a topic which you can go for it this is rarely used but morely we focused on the relative and absolute reference and here is the example for mixed reference similarly the columns are locked and the rows are locked so i hope you have understood here the how to go for relative reference absolute reference and mixed reference that's all for this video